Hiya everyone, a bit of a different video for me today. Uh, this is an unboxing of fountain pens. Uh, this was a lovely surprise for my husband for our four year anniversary and uh, it came from Colt Pens in the UK. So this video was pre-recorded, it had audio prior to this audio um, but it was very hit and miss and noise in the background so I decided to do a voiceover so while you're not getting my instant reaction you are still getting my honest reaction so in this box there are four Twisby fountain pens three of them are Twisby Ecos one of those is a Twisby Eco T, which I will explain in a minute four bottles of ink and a Rhodia fountain pen friendly a4 lined notebook as you can see the packaging was really good really nice really secure um, everything wrapped really well so the first item is the Rhodia notepad um, it's A4 like I said and I believe it's got Claire Fontaine paper in it which, which is a fountain friendly paper fountain pen friendly paper it's white and it's got blue lines if I seem a bit awkward, um, you know, lining up my audio with the actual imagery is because I'm not remembering exactly what I was saying, so it might seem a bit off. But the whole pad is lined, you get an orange fly leaf on the front, an orange fly leaf on the back, as well as a piece of cardboard on the back. So it's just your standardised, you know, jot pad. You can get them in orange and black. I believe and different sizes so here is the first fountain pen which I'm going to show you which is the eco T in clear um, the eco T is the same as the eco the only difference that I can tell from research is that it has a triangular shaped cap and I believe this is it makes it slightly easier for people who are like novice fountain pen users so each pen comes in its own plastic um, container, each insert has the same instructions on it and each come with a wrench and some silicone grease for you to clean your fountain pen. If you are a novice like I am, I suggest that you watch some videos on how to do this safely or take it to somebody who you know is, is good with their pens and so not to damage it. So as you can see, this is a demonstrator piston pen. So you cannot, as I'm aware, put cartridges in this pen. You fill the pen with the piston mechanism, which is at the back of the pen. This is in a fine tip, which is what I'm showing you here. They're really lovely pens. It's a screw cap as well, and they fit really snugly back in into their box, which is nice. So the Ecos that I got was, all of them are transparent, this one is transparent green, this one is transparent orange, and the next is a transparent purple. And they are all medium nibs, and I'm very, very grateful for my anniversary present, it's a wonderful, wonderful gift. So I'm just showing you here, this is one of the Ecos, it's a transparent orange, that the box is exactly the same on the inside. The only difference is you get a red insert, um, same instructions on how to fill it, same sort of instructions and pictures on how to use the wrench and the silicone grease. Which, again, I, I just think it's really quite nice for such a you know affordable fountain pen what you get is really quite high end in my opinion so here i'm just showing you that all the pens come with a little label that says do not use alcohol to clean the pen and i'm not sure whether that's because it will discolor the silver elements of them which obviously aren't real silver um or or whether they defect the like acrylic pen perhaps but yeah all of them say do not clean with alcohol so I'm just really showing you up close. There's the triangle um, 
cap that you can see you will see the difference with the others in a second um, each of them say Twisby on one side of the pen uh, cap where the uh, the handle is I can't think of the right word for it and the other side say eco so I'm showing you again that this is a fine tip uh, nib as far as I'm aware you can change these nibs if you know what you're doing but they don't sell nib replacements on cult pens for this particular model they only sell the replacements for the diamond series which is the the one up from this pen so here's a transparent green you can see again the Twisby logo etched on the side and the eco on the back and you can see the the cap is hexagonal instead of triangular and you've got a green base to it which is where uh, the piston section where you twist and i'm just showing you the nib which is a medium nib and you can see the feed in there as well which is really pretty these demonstrator pens i've never had one before all the pens i've had have been um, cartridge filled or disposable fountain pens uh, this is coming up as more blue and it's not it is actually transparent purple and it's it's such a gorgeous pen they all are the the pictures on the cult pens website didn't do them justice at all they're, they're so pretty in real life uh, medium nib again for this one and i'll explain why in a moment The orange one is is it's just lovely it's like amber when the light hits it it's a really pretty pen as you can see there's the twist mechanism to make the piston go up and down to fill your pen with ink it's one full rotation to get the cap off if that's any use I know some people like quick like release pens so like a, a click on click off cap but this is a screw cap but it's not like a drastic one <laughs> so I got four inks as well so Majestic Purple was the first one and all of these pens are by Diamine and I hope uh, all of these inks I'm sorry are by Diamine I hope I'm saying that correctly and they are made in the UK I believe um, this purple is gorgeous and I really really tried to get it on camera and found it extremely difficult purples a pretty difficult color to to get on camera anyway um, what I might try to do is take some photographs and actually put them at the end of the video so if you you stay tuned for that you can see a couple of stills of the color and I got the fine tip one for this coloured ink and the reason this one is a fine tip uh, pen is because there's no shimmer in the ink so that majestic purple will be going into the clear eco tea pen the next colour is cult pen deep dark orange which I believe was specifically made they have a range of six colors which are their colors as it were you'll see the label is different it says cult pens on it along with diamine but it doesn't have the illustration like the diamine bottle does this is like blood orange color it's absolutely gorgeous and I'm like a huge fan of the autumn or fall if you're in the States and it really really reminds me of that time of year it's like rusty gorgeous orange and again I'm just here was trying to catch the light correctly and found it really really difficult now even though this is a medium nib pen I will be using this in here because I hope to get a shimmer ink in a similar color to go in this pen eventually but for the time being I want to use the deep dark orange now here's where it changes and why uh, medium nibs were chosen in hindsight I probably would have got a broad nib if not a stub nib uh, these are shimmer inks and these are absolutely stunning so this is magical forest which is a emerald kind of green and it has silver shimmer inside of it and it's just such a lovely ink color and I actually want to use this in some of my art 
as well as uh, writing letters and things like that but you can see I shake the bottle quite a lot if I remember correctly um, it's just such a pretty pretty colour and the shimmer like this doesn't do it justice at all there's there's lots of photos on google of this color uh, when it dries and it's just it's wonderful and i'm not a green person but it will be going in my green pen one thing i want to mention is just to note that the top of that bottle was indeed silver whereas the other two have been gold so this is the second and last, uh, second shimmer colour and last ink that we got, uh, which is called Purple Pizzazz, and it is a shimmer. And here you can see, like I just mentioned, uh, about the silver top, this top is actually gold in colour. And that is because they seem to have two types of shimmer. One is silver, and the other is gold based, or like rose gold based. Um, and this colour is absolutely stunning as well. Um, what I notice, like looking at this now, the shimmer seems to be um, like denser or, or heavier. Like it's not as easy to swish about as the silver one seems to be. I don't know whether that's just my perception of it or whether that's like a actual thing between the different colours. Um, but it's just what I'm noticing watching the video back now. And this is a darker purple than the majestic purple. And again, I'm not really sure whether that's because the base purple is darker or whether it's because the shimmer adds like a darker kind of element to it. And that will be going in my purple Twisby with a medium nib. Again, I apologise for the awkwardness of this video and not really knowing what to say because I can't remember what I was saying. There you go, I'm laying them out nicely. So I believe here I was saying that I was quite shocked by what pen I found my favourite and what ink I found my favourite. So I assumed that the purple would be my favourite because purple is my favourite colour. But in terms of pen, I found that the green pen was actually... Uh, my favorite color with the green shimmer ink and out of the non shimmer uh, shimmer inks so the, the purple and the deep orange i actually found that the orange was my favorite ink which is very surprising because like i said purple is my favorite color and i assumed that purple would be the one that i went for so there they are lined up on their respective boxes again uh, once again, there were the three Twisby Ecos, one Eco T, the difference being one is triangle and the rest are hexagonal on top. There were four inks, two shimmer and two non, uh, one with silver shimmer, one with gold, and then the Rodia Claire Fontaine paper notebook. I thought the purple would be my favourite, turned out the green was, and I thought the purple ink would be my favourite, but the orange ink was. And this was all from Colt pens in the UK. I think I say that now. <laughs> um, yeah, and special delivery, it literally came the next day and I've used and shopped with them for such a long time. They're a fantastic company. Uh, those little clips you can see on my invoice there, uh, they always send them for free. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Again, this was a gift from my husband for our four year anniversary. I'm extremely lucky uh, to have received them just want to add as well that this video is not sponsored in any way shape or form and that my husband spent his money on everything in this video um yeah so thank you for bearing with me for my first ever voiceover video and i hope you enjoyed it i will do some videos in the future of these pens when they are filled up and hopefully as my collection grows i will add to the video collection as well Take Thank you again and all the best. Stay safe and see you soon. Bye.